How's it going? Julie Burke here. I'm gonna give Facebook a minute to go and grab you because today we're talking video marketing and how to win a diva light. So I'm gonna give it a minute. Hi. As you come popping in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Say hello. If you see me have this wonderful wig on, I'm continuing Halloween. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Hi. Across the pond. Right? You're in the UK, hon, right? Can you hear me okay? Awesome. Hey, hey. As you guys are popping on, let me know where you're tuning in from. Hi, Linda. How are you? Yeah, today we're going to talk video. Video, video. Awesome. Thank you, Lori. I love it. So listen, the, the thing with the wig, you guys see this, is crazy, right? Okay, so <clears throat> I wore it yesterday for Halloween. Like, it's my alter ego. Um, we call her Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa was my name when I was younger and would hang out in the bars with my friends. And, like, guys would come over and be like, hey, what's your name? I didn't want to give my real name. Anyways, it's Vanessa. But here's a story with this um, wig is I wear it, um, on Halloween. Like that is it. And the kids love it so much. And so Landon asked me today because <laughs> my mom is still, still sick. You guys, if you've been following me this past week, she's still sick. So I've had Landon, uh, working with me anyways. He's like, mommy, I really love your, I really love that, that wig that you wore yesterday. So anyways, there, there's a story behind the wig. So I just thought I'd have fun with you guys today, um, considering yesterday was Halloween. This thing's all knotted, though. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, okay. So anyways, thanks for loving the hair. Um, all right, who else is on here? Tanil, hi, hon, Joanne, Jamie. Yeah, so Jamie, my hair used to be not this long. It was probably, like, here. So all of you guys know me with short hair, but my hair used to be long, like, it used to be all the way down here, and then I chopped it a couple years ago before I started doing video. Hey, we have Alaska in the house. Woohoo! Hi, Valerie. How are you? Hey, Becky. All right, so we're talking video marketing. If you saw video marketing part one yesterday, um, I talked a lot about the psychology behind video um, because so many people have fear of video. Hey, Tiffany. What's up, girl? Um, so... If you watched that video, drop me a one and let me know um, in the comment section. Also, if you are new to who Julie Burke is, normally my hair is not this long, but today it is, okay? We're having fun with the hair. Um, just type new in the comment section and after the broadcast, go over to createsuccesswithjulie.com, createsuccesswithjulie.com, drop in your email and grab yourself a free resource. You guys, if you have been following me, I'm coming out with new resources. If you're on my email list already, I know a couple emails went out to you today. I apologize. One of the emails was not supposed to go out until later. Um, but there's a survey. If you could take the survey, please. It's four questions. Super, super fast. It'll take you less than 10 seconds. But I need your honest opinion. Um, it's going to help me create another resource for you around... Um, the fan page, okay, and starting your own fan page. Um, I need you to take that survey, and I have a gift for you for taking the survey. It's 50, five zero of my memes that you can take and brand to yourself. Like we compiled like a swipe file of my memes because I'm asked all the time about my memes and inspirational quotes and where do I get them from. So we put 50 of them together. If you could take the survey, please, we need um, that feedback. It'll take you less than 10 seconds. Okay, cool. So if you're already on my email list, please go to your email um, after this and please fill that out. I super, super, super would appreciate it. Okay. Um, hey, Misty, where are you from, girl? Um, love to hear where you're from. Um, okay, Tiffany, the free gift is a zip file. It's a, you just got to unzip the zip file. Okay. If you have, if anyone has issues with filling out the survey, Email um, Wendy at info 
at createsuccesswithjulie.com. Again, info at createsuccesswithjulie.com. And um, please, she'll help you. She'll make sure that you get that um, file, okay, with all those memes. All right, cool. Tennessee, I love Tennessee. Love Tennessee. I was just at Nash in Nashville a couple months ago. Um, all right, so, um, and like I mentioned, Misty, after the broadcast, you could head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com and grab yourself a free resource too. Um, I have quite a few of them over there. So if you are new to me, um, I've been in the network marketing space for about five years and uh, about, let's see, a year ago, I created, I started my own training company and what I really specialize in is coaching and mentoring and helping um, entrepreneurs, uh, particularly network marketers, affiliate marketers and coaches build their business through um, and generate more leads and make more sales through utilizing online marketing because I am a busy mom. I don't know about any of you, you guys. And, you know, here, prime example. Okay, mom has been sick. My mom, you guys have been following me. You guys know my mom's been sick. And I have no care besides my parents for my son and my in-laws. And so, um, you know, think about that. Think about if I didn't, if I, I worked that nine to five job or if I didn't build my home, you know, my business from my home office and I had to go to all, all these meetings and stuff, if I wasn't able to leverage the internet, um, I'd have to go and, and try and find some care for my son. However, he has been with me and in some of my lives this last week, which has been really, really cool. Okay, so just a little bit of a, uh, an example there. All right, so yesterday I did, I talked about um, Facebook Live. You know, we could talk about video marketing and video is cool. However, I really want to talk about Facebook Live because Facebook Live is really where it's at, you guys. And um, God, the thing is itchy. This wig is itchy. Oh, um, oh, Natasha, what's up, sweetheart? Oh, you love your new Diva Light. Yes, Diva Lights are the best. I have I'm using one right now, right? Makes the complexion much better, you guys. I love it. All right, <clears throat> so yesterday on my video uh, marketing part one, I talked about the psychology because so many people have fear, and the only way to overcome the fear is by doing. So when I wanted to really branch out and brand myself, um, you know, in my past network marketing company, I am still building network marketing. I'm just in a new company now. But um, my past upline didn't appreciate what I was doing online. So anyways, I started over. I, I went somewhere else, walked away from six figures to go and build where I'm appreciated. Okay. So um, when I started to say to myself, I think it was like late 2015, mm -hmm. I always created curiosity. You guys, I built my network marketing business primarily through utilizing Facebook. Period. Even five years ago when I got started, I created curiosity. I never spammed and I did it the right way. And that's what I teach. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, rewind to December 2015. Um, I was talking to Nadia and she was like, you, you got to do video. Mm -hmm. Now, back then, Facebook Live wasn't available. It was just video. And I had a lot of fear. So if you heard me yesterday, I talk a lot about this. It, I had a ton of fear of doing video. Enter Facebook Live. Now we're live, right? Are you kidding me? The fear and anxiety I had around doing a Facebook Live was, I can't even describe it. it, it I was paralyzed, like paralyzed from the fear, okay? So <clears throat> how did I overcome it, right? Because there's a lot of, it, 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 it's all limiting belief. Who's gonna wanna listen to me? Who can I help? Um, what if I mess up? Um, what if I don't look, you know, I don't wear makeup all the time. You know, I, 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 I truly don't. So I started to think like I had to sound like some of the other leading experts in this industry that's out there doing video on Facebook Live. Do you guys know what I mean? Like it just, I was paralyzed, paralyzed. I'm getting a lot of comments on this hair. I'm thinking I need to put in some extensions here. I don't know. My two neighbors, um, the girls next door, they, real quick, squirrel moment, you guys, because I'm getting a lot of hair comments here. Um, like, literally, both of them were like, oh my gosh, did you get extensions? I love it. And I'm like, no, no, it's just this, like, attachment wig. I don't even know. 
Anyways, I'm thinking I need to go get extensions. <laughs> um, okay, so, all right. Um, Andrea, yeah, exactly. Who wants to listen to me, right? Pfft, who? So I had all of that going on in my mind, and it was really holding me back. So yesterday, if you did not watch my live yesterday, please go back and watch it because I talk a lot about this and how we have to overcome it because Facebook Live is where it's at. You want to generate more leads the fastest way, the most rapid way I was able to build um, my following to 40,000 people in just over a year on my fan page is that. You guys, last year, July, July, I had maybe 100 fans and followers on my page. Now, I utilize a fan page in a big way to grow my community. There's so much, there's so many advantages to a fan page, um, hence why you need to fill out the survey because uh, hint, hint, I'm coming out with, uh, <laughs> with teaching you all about how to utilize fan pages to funnel more people in to grow your business faster, okay? So fill out the survey. All right, um, so go back, to, yeah, or go back to yesterday's video and watch that, all right? Because I know we all, my issue is that I run out of things to say after a while and I feel like I'm repeating myself. My husband has even said that he thinks my views are better if I do them once in a while as opposed to I can't read the rest, Visa. Um, Visa, what is like your main topic? So I'm gonna get into this in a minute, okay. Uh, Jessica, give yourself some credit. Yeah, yes, you guys, you have to give yourself some credit, right? And, and really mind that inner critic that we all have in, um, within ourselves. Okay, so I had some questions yesterday and I wanna address them now on um, day two, okay? So um, I had a question from Natalie and she, she asked after, um, after the video, what's next for the engagement? Okay, so um, what you wanna do for the engagement is a couple things. If you are utilizing your um, fan page, you wanna boost your video. And I mean like boost the video for three to five dollars, you guys, I'm not talking a ton of money here. Start with three dollars. And you wanna boost it, you get to, this is one of the greatest things about a fan page. Um, let's say your target market is moms and moms from, that have children from zero to five. Let's just say that. Maybe you're um, talking about, I don't know, something to do that is um, going to give moms some sort of benefit when it comes to utilizing something you're sharing about with their children, okay? So you could boost that video to literally to that audience. Let's say you just wanna stay in the United States, you put $3, you choose the United States, you choose um, moms, you could choose um, a mom group. Maybe there's a really popular mom group out there. You could target the page, that's what I do, I target pages. And um, choose moms with children between the ages of zero and five. You guys, that's how like lasered you could get in. Like laser, laser into your target market. That's why I love a fan page, okay? So I can boost my content. You guys, Facebook. Facebook is smart. And they are now giving more organic reach or, well, they give more reach to those that spend some advertising dollars. Now, in the beginning, that's what I had to do quite often. I was running a likes ad campaign. I was boosting some of my content to get in front of my target audience, you guys. But then, um, as the community started to grow here and grow here and grow here, guess what? I don't have to spend as much because I have a huge engagement, okay? So it's going to take money, right, regardless. Either you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be time or it's gonna take money, some advertising dollars to throw behind. Now this is again, if you're utilizing fan page. If you're utilizing your personal page, your call to action or your, how to get them engaged is to be able to have your call to action. Now I definitely recommend a call to action on both pages. Call to action, if you're doing it on your personal page, what do you want them to do? What is the end result? What, where do you wanna lead them to? So your call to action could be, um, uh, you know, it could be a lead magnet. Maybe you're giving away something for free, right? And, or it could be just comment below for more info. 
right? Maybe you're promoting something around your network marketing company and you just want them to type in more info. Maybe it's just to message you. Maybe it's to fill out a consultation call. Maybe you wanna send them to um, an online event that you're hosting, right? If you heard me this past week, um, we were talking a lot about the Kate McShea 60 Minute Enrollment Method and the power behind hosting live events, you guys. Um, so a call to action is where you get people engaged. Like what's your bonus offer, right? Like what are you offering them? So you have to lead them to the next step. So if you're creating, um, you know, content, you want to create content that is around whatever it is you're passionate about. People often think that they have to create content just around their network marketing company. And it's so not true. Like you are branding yourself. You guys, this is why I started doing this. Is so like I can move away from people thinking I was the shake girl or I was the cleanse girl. I couldn't stand it, okay? It's not that I didn't like my old products of my old, old company. It's that I, I didn't want to be labeled as the, the blank girl, which meaning like they would call me like the company girl, right? I didn't want to be labeled as that. I'll be honest. I, I'm Julie, right? And so you are going to attract the audience to you for whatever it is that you're talking about. And then you can simply intertwine throughout your messaging of, um, hey, by the way, I also do this. If you have any interest in learning more and you don't say the company name, it's just what you do. Um, you know, I'm looking to partner with five new people, just five. And, you know, we're growing a big team here. We're growing a big business here. If you're interested, drop me a comment below, say yes, or feel free to message me. You guys, it's really as simple as that. Where do you want to lead them to? Okay. So, um, what I did in the beginning when I started my fan page was I, um, I didn't have, I don't think my lead magnet yet for my, my, my create success with Julie business. I really think you guys, all I was doing was inviting people to calls with me. That was it. Literally, it was just giving away a 30 minute um, breakthrough session to see if they wanted to do coaching with me. If they were interested in my network marketing business, I was, you know, doing video chats or calls there, like inviting people to a Zoom because when you see each other face to face, you build a relationship faster. Do you guys agree on that, right? Hey Lisa, how are you? Um, you could go back and watch the beginning and, and you're, not, you're not late. You are here, so good job. All right, so that I hope answers some of the question of how to get them engaged. I will tell you, um, promoting your video, if you are using a fan page, mm -hmm. is super powerful, it's super helpful, okay? Tiffany agrees. Thank you. Uh, Renee loves Zoom. I absolutely love Zoom. I use it all the time. I'm using it today with a coaching client, right, um, in Canada. So very powerful. Okay, um, promote your video. And this is how you build your brand. You build your brand by doing your Facebook Lives. This is how you build your brand. This is how people get to know, like, and trust you. Like, bottom line, I've never seen anything grow as fast as as. Um, in terms of people getting to know, like, and trust you. I now have fans all over the world that feel like they know me, and it's really cool. However, this is why I show up here, so I could get to know all of you, okay? Yeah, <laughs> Danielle. Hee <laughs> hee, that's me. That's right, girl. I'll be talking to you soon. Um, okay, um, follow up with people. Engage with people. I made my fan page my top priority. Top priority. You guys, a fan page is how you move away from your warm market, Okay. So I made it my top priority, meaning um, when people weren't engaging in the beginning, it's okay. I still was showing up here and seeing if anyone was commenting on my stuff, right? Now I can get, you know, sometimes organic views of up to 35, 40,000. Can you guys imagine that? Organic views. I get so much interaction. So again, it doesn't develop over time. If you hear crickets for a long time on your fan page, Trust me, you just gotta stay consistent with it, okay? If you still wanna use your personal page, still use your personal page. Um, however, it's you know it's probably gonna be more of your warm market. So what I recommend is if you do a Facebook Live on your personal page, make it public. Just change your settings when you're about to go live and make it public instead of just your friends, okay? Um, and also just be patient with it and use some catchy headlines. Like, 
how to lose 10 pounds in the next 10 days. Like make it somewhat realistic, right? You don't want to just throw anything out there. Um, three ways to eliminate these, this sneaky ingredient from your diet, right? Like just things like that that are going to create curiosity. Like today I put um, video marketing part two, um, who wants to win a diva light, right? So obviously everything with a fan page is always going to be public. Um, but regardless, I always, I just post public even on my personal page, mm -hmm. but this right here, this page is what is, is, I call my passion page. And you can share your content from your fan page to your personal page. You can invite people from your personal page to your fan page, your business page. It is a business page. I call it a fan page, a likes page, a passion page. I like to call it a passion page, okay? All right. So another question I got is what is the best time of day to go live? Alma asked that. Okay. Alma, you got to just show up and go live and see when you start having most interaction. Um, again, on a fan page, one of the greatest things that you have is access to insights. Insights is what shows you when your people are on and when they are highly like engaged in watching you. So for me, my times are, um, my highest time, believe it or not, is eight o'clock at night. Eight o'clock at night. I seem to have the most engagement. Now, I don't really go live at eight o'clock at night because guess what? I am with my family. I am putting my kids to bed. And so I have been, I never really posted on my fan page. If you guys have been following me for a while, I usually would just go live, right? Like I don't have a set time. However, I have really been getting more consistent and locking down a time, um, holding me accountable, of doing these at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And it seems to be really working for a lot of people. I enjoy it, people are enjoying it. So guess what? You do what you can. And I put the memes out two hours before. I put like this bright pink meme going live today. Join me at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And um, I'll even let them know sometimes like what we'll be discussing, okay? So just know it's not gonna be perfect, you guys. Like, per it, it's just not. In the beginning, I didn't do this. I just popped up whenever I popped up. I had five people on my first live and I think it was like, I saw one view, then zero. One, then zero. Then I went up to three, then zero. Then up to four. You guys, forever, it, that's how it was. Like, it's just people going through the feed, right? Just people, go, like, that's all. I Tons of videos like that. Um, and it was very um, intimidating. It was very intimidating because I have all this engagement on my personal page, but no engagement really on my fan page. It was very intimidating. Um, now I do go live on my fan page. Like I will be going live on my fan page soon um, because I have, that's my warm market and I'm going to be sharing with them my new journey, my new home, my new network marketing home. And I'm going to run a promo called 30 and 30, okay? And so that's gonna be my headline, right? Like my new journey, come along with me. I'm looking for 30 and 30. That's my headline. I'm, I'm giving you guys some insight here. And I'm going to show up. I'm going to do a live. I'm not going to say who I'm with because that's not how I roll. I don't want to spam my new network marketing company all over. Um, I'm going to create curiosity, bottom line. And I'm going to I'm going to give them a call to action. You guys, does that make sense? Okay. All right. So you have to um, just do the Facebook Live to know the best time that's gonna work for you, okay? And then see when your audience is most engaged. You're not gonna collect this data just from doing one or two or three Facebook Lives. It's gonna take a little while. Start journaling, right? If you're not on the fan page and you don't have the insights, just start journaling. Um, so, but here's the thing. You wanna stay engaged with your audience, so guess what? I was on my page all the time. Anyone, some, anytime someone commented, I was responding, boom, like that. Now I can't get to my um, responses as quickly anymore. It's just because there's so much engagement, which is really cool. But follow up, engage them, ask them questions, get to know them. You know, another cool thing on your page of what you could do is post a pin post at the top of like a welcome video. You definitely want to welcome people to your page, let them know what your page is going to be about. You are not creating a page if you're creating a page on your network marketing company. You're just, you're not, you're not. So figure out what it is that you love to teach, you love to talk about all day long, you're passionate about, and that's how you create content for your page. Um, which leads me to Daisy. Daisy asked, 
she she says she has fear around doing Facebook Live because she does not know what to talk about. All right, Daisy. Mm -hmm. So if you are, um, and here we go, you know, put your phone in airplane mode when you go live too, because now I'm having all these messages. Okay, so Daisy, listen, um, if you are, let's just say, in the health and wellness industry, let's just say you're in network marketing and you promote health and wellness. You are not creating a page on your network marketing company. You are not creating a page about your product. Um, and if you don't want to create a page, you don't have to create a page. Same thing goes for your personal page, okay? You do not spam on your personal page. You show up as Daisy and you talk about what interests you in health and wellness and give people tips. Like, there is a ton of stuff out there around health and wellness, grab some magazines, highlight some articles, go to certain people's blog posts, go to Weight Watchers blog posts, go to Jenny Craig's blog posts, go to Jillian Michaels blog posts, go to Natalie Jill, go to Betty Rocker's blog posts, go to anyone's blog posts and repurpose one of their blogs or pull out some tips, go to Shape Magazine, go, go to their page, see what they're talking about. Like, can you guys see like how much content is out there? I, you could grab a book. Um, so you could go like repurpose a podcast. There's so much you can talk about around the health and wellness industry. So what you're doing is just teaching. You're just showing up, um, and you're giving some sort of value. You guys, that's it. If you're in the travel business, you could talk about, um, you don't have to just talk about travel. You could talk about anything. And then once in a while you could tell them, this is your business. This is what you do. You help, um, you help people slash 60%, whatever it is, 60 to 80% in their travel business. And if you do, I want to hear from you. Actually, message me if you're slashing 60% of people's travels. Um, I have a crazy amount of trips coming up. But um, here's the thing. like, You could just mention it. And if it's something that you, if it's something that they'd love to um, look more into, drop you a comment. And say yes, and you'll make sure to get them information. But the video doesn't have to be around the travel. You just mention it. I do affiliate marketing, okay? I don't bash affiliate marketing down people's throats, but I will do every now, every now and then, um, a live around my affiliate company and why I'm so passionate about it and what they do and who they serve and who they help, okay? And if they want more information, to drop me a comment, say more info, or to message me. Like, it's 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 just, it's so simple, and yet we overcomplicate the process. You could pull out, let's say you do, um, you're into personal development, okay? You could pull out this book. Um, I have this book, and it's called um, The Science, um, The Science Transform of Spectacular Living. I know the authors, okay? So I could come in, this book, Okay, and I can pull up um, the index, like the chapters, okay? And um, let's see, we could talk about um, um, the three ways to increase um, belief in self. We could talk about how to uh, reprogram, the five ways to reprogram your subconscious mind. Uh, we could talk about the science behind um, personal change. We could talk about um, three ways to ignite your confidence. We could talk about, um, and I'm just pulling these out of thin air. There's something called ignite your your transformation. So I'm just I'm just pulling this out. Um, we can talk about um, how to how to transform your life life in three easy steps, and then you just rattle off the three steps. And of course. If you have a story to intertwine with it, you definitely, 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 you guys want to put that story in there and get vulnerable. Um, be okay with being vulnerable, you guys. Um, that's going to be one of the fastest ways that your audience will get to know you. And don't worry about being perfect on camera because um, that it's just false, you guys. If you heard me yesterday, I will say it again. Uh, perfection is for poor people, period. Because mm -hmm. if you want to be perfect, you will never get started. You'll never do it. You'll you just you just won't because you'll be so worried about being perfect. Okay. Um. Okay, Andrea. I know you got to go. So come back and just fast forward to this point because you don't want to miss the diva light.
Okay, I'm getting there too, by the way, guys. All right, so does that help? You guys, like, drop me a comment. Let me know. Give me emojis. Like, is this all resonating with you? Is this, yeah, like, drop me a yes. But do you see how you could just simply pull up, like, the index of a, a you know, uh, the contents of a book? And you could go through it, and you could just start pulling some things out. Um, you know, me, I have a lot of network marketers that follow me. So I could go pull out... Um, uh, I could do a mindset book because we all have, you know, all of us have self-doubt. All of us. I mean, I'm just, even me. People look at me and they're like, you're so confident. There's times I have self-doubt, you guys. It's all good. Um, but I could pull out like The Morning Miracle. Okay, I love that book, The Morning Miracle uh, for network marketers. So I can come and I can give, I probably could do in that one book alone at least, a, at least, a month straight of content that I could come and share with you because you could take one topic and literally umbrella it and split it out into so many different um, so many different topics so if you're gonna talk about recruiting well I mean we could talk about recruiting online we could talk about recruiting offline we could talk about recruiting through LinkedIn we could talk about recruiting through Instagram we could talk about recruiting through Facebook and prospecting we could talk about um, What's the three things you want to make sure that your recruiting process has? We want to make, you know what I mean? Like there's so much I could talk. I could probably have two weeks worth of recruiting content and probably even more than that. But I'm just throwing this out here, you guys. Um, Yeah, The Morning Miracle is a great book. I actually uh, know the author and um, he's great. He's really, really great. Okay, so um, let me see. Robin asked, and this is the last question that um, I have. Robin mm -hmm. asked, is it best to use a fan page or a Facebook group? Okay, here's my answer, you guys. Um, I, I would say both if you want to use both. But in the beginning, all I did is I had my personal page and I started my fan page, okay? And I started showing up and just doing Facebook Lives. It was the fastest way I was able to grow this audience here. Um, and then when I started creating digital products, um, I have a signature course and I have it uh, a private Facebook group for that course. So my private Facebook group personally is for my students in that group, um, which we are going to be opening to all of my um, past students. Okay, we're going to be opening that group up because I just want to be able to give people a higher lev level of support that, of course, invest in me. I want to invest back in them. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to my fan page, you guys, I've done 250 Facebook Live trainings here on this page. So please, I have tons of free content, tons of free content. Just come here and check that out. So what I say is a Facebook group is closed, okay? So do you want to close off an audience to you or do you want more people to see your stuff? I'll have you guys answer that. Do you want more people or do you want closed? I'm not going to talk again until you guys respond. <laughs> Hello? Are you guys out there? More. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Amanda. More, 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 more. Right. Okay. So guess what? On a fan page... This is where you get to target your perfect audience and it's public viewing. They get to see you and your content. A Facebook group is closed. It's closed. So this is where I say a Facebook group is to grow lead generation and to grow your audience and following. Facebook group is to nurture. Nurture. Okay? If you want to do a Facebook group, totally cool. This is nurture. This is build, lead gen, grow, right? Convert. This, after you convert, you can move them into a group and you, you nurture. Does that make sense, you guys? I don't think that you should be closed off to the world with a private Facebook group. Um, so I have both. However, I do everything on my fan page. And my other group is for my students that I give them higher level support. Okay, cool. Um, and that's what I mean. Yes, page equals grow, group equals nurture. Absolutely. Thank you for highlighting that. Um, so you guys, I hope that this all makes sense to you. Um, 
I, I can't, you know, talk enough about how powerful live is. And I know a lot of people are out there talking about it, but you guys, I'm talking about it from true experience, okay? And in the beginning, in the beginning, I'm going to be totally honest, I, I just tried to get comfortable with the camera. I was just getting comfortable with this. So I wasn't really doing call to actions in the beginning and I was just showing up and teaching something, okay? However, you definitely want to get more intentional with your message. You want to get in more intentional with where you want to lead people, okay? Um, so one thing I suggest you doing is thinking about if you were to create content, whether it be personal or fan page, what is it that you would love to teach? What is it that you're passionate around and where can you lead to? So I want you to start brain dumping. I call it brain dumping and you want to brain dump your content. And what I mean is in the beginning when I said, okay, I'm committing to do Facebook live, I would brain dump content. And what I would do is I would put um, an Excel spreadsheet together. Okay. And I would literally just, like I said, like, if I was pulling out books, um, if I was like finding an awesome article, I would literally just brain dump in the Excel spreadsheet different topics I could talk about, okay? So you could do a column of you wanting to understand your perfect ideal audience pains and struggles, okay? Then you want topic ideas and content ideas. And then at the end you want, okay, where can this lead to? What is the solution? So for me, if it's um, network marketing with my new company, my new company is like a live clean company. So we have several products, but one of them's a weight loss, another one is um, collagen, and we have like all these other live clean toxic free products, okay? So I mean, I could, there's tons of stuff I could create for my audience if I was gonna promote that, okay? Um, if it's for my affiliate company, if that's where I wanna lead people to, then guess what, my pains and struggles there are um, network marketers that can't seem to move away from their warm market and they're stuck and they can't find like figure out how to break into cold market and how to create more um, leads for their business and sales you guys understand this so I know the pains and struggles so then when I'm creating content around um, you know how to build your business online how to start doing attraction marketing how to you know um, whatever, it could be video, it could be anything, um, I can lead them to my call to action. If they want to learn how to build their business online, comment yes, and I'm going to send them a link to a free boot camp. okay? Well, then right there, that's for my affiliate company, okay? Um, do you guys understand this? Is this making sense? Like, so brain dump your content, understanding your um, perfect audience or who you're looking to attract to you you have to understand their pains and struggles and then you want to understand the solution that you offer so then you could possibly lead them there. Again, whether it's a Zoom chat call, whether it's to get on a call, whether it's just to comment if they want more info, if it's that they want to see, you know, preview a video, if it's that um, you want to get them on your, um, into your online event, whatever it is, like just, you have to know that. And then as you're brain dumping the content, put your CTA, your call to action, or your bonus offer, what you can offer them um, in the column. Does that make sense? Is that cool? Like, that's a, w that's a great way to organize your thoughts because I feel so often, um, it's just that our thoughts, like we get stuck because you probably don't know it. You actually have so much content or so many thoughts around it. I remember mm -hmm. when I first got started, and I first found Ray Higdon, it was like, I don't know, early 2016, I think. Um, and he was like, oh, your your notebooks are your checks. And, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have a mound of notebooks. I've done so much personal development and network marketing. I've actually um, been at some high level trainings with people like Robin Sharma and Lisa Nichols and John Maxwell. You guys, I actually had lunch with John Maxwell. Like how flipping cool is that, right? I have so much stuff that I could offer network marketers. So network marketers and like offering tips and trainings, that's kind of just where I started. And then I started branching out where I have coaches following me because I, I created a six-figure coaching business they want to know how. And then I have, um, you know, those looking to create their own digital products. I created a six-figure digital product business um, in four months, by the way. 
So how did I do that? Well, you know what I mean? Like, so I started branching out. So you guys start with what you're passionate about. Start with what you know and then expand from there. Okay? Like, just go with the wind. You have to go with the wind. But if you're not talking about something that makes you excited, then, you know, it's going to come off, I think, in your in your messaging and in your video. Okay? Um, I need a starter class for starting from day one. Hold on. So overwhelmed on where to start. Step one is pick a company. Step two, what's next? How to sell and market and make money. Help, where do I start? Krista, are you are you with a company? What's your business? I, I need just a little bit more information there. Um, Amanda, those two go together. When people find clothes that makes them feel good in their own skin, they have more confidence, have a better outlook on life and more successful. Exactly, Jessica, exactly, yes. Um, same, yeah, I mean, same thing when you're talking about clothes, when you're talking about skincare, if you could help someone change their appearance, you know, you could do a whole video, a whole video series around confidence, hitting all the pains and struggles, and then eventually introduce that you have something that can, that can help them. That's all. And if they want more information to contact you, you're not making it all about your oils, or you're not making it all about your shake, or you're not making it all about whatever it is that you guys are, are promoting and marketing and selling, um, you're building relationships, period. You don't want to think about how to convert this person from step one, okay? Um, especially if you're out there and you're looking for business builders, you, you don't want to just have, I don't want just anybody being in my business and, and being a business builder. And I know it sounds crazy, but i um, I am selective. I am selective. I'm not looking for people that I have to motivate. All of the people on my team right now are the most amazing, ideal people that I want to be building, especially a new business with, because they are motivated. They are literally freaking rock stars, self-motivated. And even if they don't feel like a leader, like they're becoming a leader. Why? Because, because we empower them to be, right? Like everybody can be a leader. Right? Like you just have to, it, it's, it's how you set the tone. It's how you set the stage. And so um, they're, they're just incredible people. So I am not going to look for just bringing anyone into my, my family, my network marketing family. I am going to look for certain key people. And you have to have the same posture. You have to have the same posture when building your business. So the cool thing is this, um, you're looking for five key new leaders right? Like call to action, five key new leaders. Um, but you, you don't just want to work with anybody, right? So you're going to go through an interview process with them. I know this sounds crazy, you guys, but start treating your business like a true business, right? Um, so often people get started if you're in network marketing and they totally just treat it like a hobby because they don't understand that it really is a business. Okay. So you guys, I, I hope you guys all found value in this. Like, honestly, um, uh, you love that idea. Amazing content here. Awesome. Um, and with a fab page, anyone could see, but those you like and follow see more of the content. Yes, like Christine. So anyone that follows or likes you, one of the coolest things that you can do when you start boosting your stuff um, is you could start creating custom audiences. So I have several custom audiences, but basically I can boost a video. Like let's say I'm doing a promo, which I will be today. Um, I can boost this and I will boost it to people that like my page, period. So then Facebook is going to take my video. I'm going to throw some advertising dollars behind it and it's going to go into the feed right in front of people that like my page. So they'd be like, oh, I like Julie. I, I follow her. I'm going to watch her video on video marketing today. Okay, does that make sense? Like, it's so unbelievably cool. Ah, this is why I need you guys to fill out the surveys, please, because I'm creating so much stuff for you around utilizing a fan page and how to create a simple funnel for your business. I love sales funnels too. All right. Okay, um, your hair looks great. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys, I think I'm going to get extensions. All right, here we go. Who wants a diva light? And this is going to apply for some people, you guys, but the, I'm... I, I apologize if you guys have already gotten this, um, but I'm doing it right now. But I had so...
so many people say yes, they want a Diva Light. Um, yesterday when I posted it. So I will be running another um, drawing coming up soon, but this is only going to apply to people who have not gotten this yet. Okay, so. All right, guys, listen, um, here's the thing. I last week promoted um, my good friend Kate McShay's 60-minute enrollment method course. She came out with this amazing four-part video training. If you guys saw it, I want you to drop uh, me below. And I see people me saying me because you guys all want the light. But drop a me uh below if you saw Kate's video training. It was unbelievable, right? So what happened was it was her year anniversary and what the 60 minute enrollment method is, her method is how to build your business through utilizing online events in 60 minutes a week. And I mean, you do it for 60 minutes, you record it, you maybe do it live again for 60 minutes, record it, you get the metrics from it, you, you know which one converts better, and then guess what? You set it on autopilot. It's the most amazing, powerful thing I know because I've done it. I created five figures in 48 hours from hosting an online event, and she's my personal mentor. So anyways, I did this interview with her last week. Crazy reach how many people saw that video. So cool. Um, so she closed the cards Sunday, okay? She closed this cart on Sunday, um, you guys, I once spent $9,000 on learning how to con put a webinar together to promote my network marketing business. Um, can I tell you how much I made from it? Zero. $9,000. Um, the dude ended up bashing network marketers. I was, I was so ticked and I couldn't get my money back, okay? Kate, um, like, I, 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 like, I don't even know. I don't even know, like a percent of the cost. I don't even know. Like, very low cost, she's offering her 60 minute enrollment method and she teaches you everything. She is a teacher by trade. Um, she's a second grade uh, school teacher, you guys. She's she's flipping awesome. She's taught me everything I know um, in regards to hosting online events. Um, I've now done it several times. I have mine on autopilot and I've created six figures from it. Okay, now that's all fine and dandy for me, but now we wanna help you. So she reopened the cart this morning for a very, 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 very short time. You guys, it is open today and closes tomorrow. Like it's open today and closes tomorrow at 11.59 Eastern and that's it. You guys, she opened it last, last year is when she first promoted this. There were several people that saw um, just great success with it. She shelved it for a year. This is the year anniversary. Um, she closed the cart on Sunday. I had several people message me. She had several people message her. There's other people that are sharing this too that had, like all the way across the board, you guys, I, I, I can't even tell you how many dozens upon dozens of people that missed it. So in Kate's true fashion, she's opening it for 48 hours and then it's gone. Like, and she's not gonna open again, it's gone. And she has no plans on re-releasing it. Um, maybe next year, I don't know if she's releasing it sooner, but honestly, this is it tomorrow off, like off. Um, so this is what I say. If you want to generate more leads faster by hosting your own online event for your business, whether you're selling products, third per party products, services, um, your opportunity, whatever it is, whatever line of work that you are in. Okay. If you are marketing and promoting something, this will work for you, Tiffany, yes, Tiffany, yes, you you know that this works, okay? I know you took it. Um, Kate is an amazing teacher, and Andrew, her husband, um, I cannot even begin to tell you the value that is inside this 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 course, and um, it's just amazing. So, if you missed her four part video series and you want to see the link and you want to check this out, I need you to type link in the comments section. Okay. So you have not yet looked at 60 minute enrollment method, or you've been sitting on the fence and you're like, you know what? That's it. I want to get in. First of all, if you need the link, I need you to put link below. Okay. In the comment section. Um, this is how you win the diva light. You pick up Kate's course between today and tomorrow, cart closing tomorrow. That is it. 
you will go into a raffle for a Diva Light. And I will announce the winner um, in front of all of you on Friday. That's it. So anyone that purchases, number one, purchases Kate's course between today and tomorrow, okay? Because you guys are investing, okay? So I want to invest back in you. I'm not only going to give a Diva Light away, but I'm also going to give 10 people my social media recruiter course, okay? If you have social media recruiter, you could grab something else I have, okay? Um, so the big, big, big price is the Diva Light, and the second theory price, which I still think social media recruiter is amazing, um, is um, I will raffle off 10 of those because I know I'm gonna have a lot of people purchasing between today and tomorrow, so I wanna make it fair. Now, if you already bought Kate's product, 60 Minute Enrollment Method, do not worry. I know a lot of people want this light because I had a ton of people commenting yesterday. I will raffle off something in the near future because again, I'm gonna continue building, um, um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually in the middle of creating a new free resource for all of you around the fan page, okay? But I also have um, something else coming out that's super exciting that I will be raffling off maybe two Diva Lights. You guys, these things are amazing. Um, thank you, Tiffany. Social Media Recruiter was amazing too. Thank you. Yes, so if you have yet to purchase Kate's 60 Minute Enrollment Method and you want the link, put link here and you're gonna go into the drawing for a Diva Light, which I will announce on Friday, okay, um, who the winner is. Along with, I'm also raffling off 10 of my social media recruiter uh, courses, which is, um, lo and behold, a webinar course. <laughs> um, and you guys, it's by, it's literally like, don't be like, oh, I gotta have Kate's course, and then your, you guys could get through social media recruiter in like a day, like no joke. Um, but I teach you how to utilize social media the right way. And I'm not just talking, you guys, like, um, that I'm just here giving you network marketing advice, but not building my own network marketing business. Like, no, I've been in the trenches with you. I'm not just sharing out of theory. I'm sharing with you what I know what works, okay? Because there's a lot of gurus or people out there mm -hmm. that are um, not building network marketing businesses, okay? So I wanna make sure that you understand this, okay? These are my exact strategies I used to create curiosity and utilize uh, Facebook primarily to build uh, a whole brand and build a whole following, okay? So, um, yeah, that's it. That's how you win. That's my announcement. I cannot wait to announce who the winner is. Um, you pick up Kate's course. Now, here's the thing. with I've been giving away a ton of bonuses. Last week, I raffled off coaching sessions with me. Um, last week, I also raffled off Social Media Recruiter. Again, I know you're investing in, in Kate's stuff, and I only promote to you and share with you what I know that I have actually tested and works, okay? I don't just go out there and promote just everything, all right? Um, plus, I know Kate personally very, very, very well. She's a dear friend, and um, she's an incredible trainer. She's an incredible facilitator. So um, you know that I don't just go out there and promote anything, right? Um, I need all the courses, <laughs> send me everything, Krista, you're hilarious. Um, so yeah, pick it up now, it will go away. I promise you she will, this is it, she will not be like re-promoting this stuff again. Um, but because you're investing in her, I wanna invest in you, okay? Um, but here's the thing, you have to go through it. She does offer a 30 day money get back guarantee. Um, and so I will have you go through the 30 days before I hand out all of these prizes. I wanna make sure that people are not just purchasing, and I'm sure you guys understand this. I'm not gonna go buy Diva Light for somebody, send it to them, mail it to them, and then them go and return Kate's product. I wanna make sure that you guys stick with it. And she has a 30 day fully back money get back guarantee, so you will not get any of this until the 30 days is up, okay? I'm sure you guys can understand that. Um, how long is Kate's course? I'm not sure. Tanil, you have lifetime access to Kate's course, like period. Like literally she walks you step by step through how to create everything. And then whoever gets in now, she's doing live calls for the first um, couple weeks. I think it's like the first four weeks to six weeks. I don't know. Again, just ask for the link. Everything's on the page. Her video series is on the page. If you haven't seen it, just comment link and I'll make sure to get you the link. I'm not going to post it above the video. 
Um, so you could show up live and ask her um, any questions. Also, you get a private Facebook group. It's priceless, you guys. Uh, where you can, can, you know, be with other entrepreneurs that are also creating their own things. I'm, I'm telling you, in the, I'm in there. People bounce ideas off of each other. It's super, super, super um, cool, okay? So, um, again, today, tomorrow, boom, get it. If you purchase it, I will know that you purchase it. Um, I would also love to see you do your own Facebook Live between today and tomorrow. I challenge you to do your own Facebook Live. Okay, you guys. Um, so I hope you found value in all of this. And um, if you did, please share it. Tag somebody that you know to this video. Share it. Comment. If you have questions, you guys, or whatever, just comment. Private message me. Whatever. You guys know I'm always here um, to help. All right. Again, I hope you found value. I have to run. I have a call. And thank you for all of the um, wonderful <laughs> hair comments. I guess I need to go think about putting extensions in my head. <laughs> um, Courtney, my own live. Yes, do your own live, girl. You have to go do your own live. I challenge you to do your own live. If you guys are going to go out there and do your own live, put live. Put live. Now, I want to see. I want to see you put live. And if you do go live, tag me to it. I'd love to see it, okay? All right, you're welcome, Krissa. Ooh, Tennille, I look 25. Awesome. I just turned 40. Woohoo! Dawn's going to do a live. Danielle's going to do a live. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Valerie's going to do a live. Beth's going to do a live. Yay! I love it. Inspiring all these people to go live. Tennille's going to do a live. You guys, here's it. A live doesn't have to be as long as my live today. Today's live was super long, but I feel like I'm kind of just hanging out with all of you. Okay? Oh, a live could be three minutes tops. Show up, give some content, share a couple things, teach them something, announce who you are. Hey, it's Julia Burke. I'm coming live to you from Chicago, my hometown. I'm so excited to be here. Today I'm going to be talking about the two ways to improve your confidence, whatever, right? Boom, give them the content, call to action. If you have any questions about this, um, please drop me a comment below. If you have any other topics, I'm going to be doing these lives and talking about personal development. Just let me know if there's other things that you'd love me to share and I'll be um, coming back to you with another training. Boom. Like, that's it. That's it. Stop overthinking all of it, you guys. Amanda's going to do a live. Jill's going to do a live. Chris is going to do a live. Danielle, you have to do a live, girl. You're talking to me at 2 o'clock today. <laughs> you have to do a live. Linda's doing a live. Um, Michelle, you're overdue. Uh, I overthink it. Michelle, Stop overthinking it, sister. Stop. Tiffany, I've not been doing them lately. So yes, I'm going to do a live. Awesome. Awesome, 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 you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. I can't wait to give away this beautiful light to somebody. Um, I will respond with the link to those of you that asked for the link. All right. I'm going to head out. Everyone, be blessed. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for commenting on the hair. <laughs> It was just a little fun thing for me to do today with all of you uh, post-Halloween, okay? And um, as always, um, go out there, rock your business, okay? I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye.